Magandang araw sa ating lahat. This is Engineer Jom Digia and welcome back to my channel. So sa video tutorial na ito, ituturuan ko eh kung paano mag-solve ng isang random past board exam problem under the subject fluid machinery, specifically turbines. So a Pelton type turbine was installed 30 meters below the head gate of the pen stack. The head loss due to friction is 12% of the given elevation. The length of the pen stack is 100 meters. And the coefficient of friction is 0.00093. Determine the power output in kilowatts. So note that we are going to use the Morse equation formula for friction loss. So the choices are letter A, 22,273 kilowatts. Letter B, 23,234 kilowatts. Letter C, 32,345 kilowatts. And letter D, is 34,452 kilowatts. So, let's solve for the given problem. So, solution for this. First, we are going to compute for the head loss. So, for our head loss, as given by the problem, sabi dyan, head loss due to friction is 12% of the given elevation. So, yung given elevation natin is yung 30 meters. Yan, below the head gate of the pen stack. So, 12% multiplied by the 30 meters. So, we are obtaining here the value of 3.6 meters. So, next, we are going to compute for the elevation, which is, babawas natin guys, yung head loss natin na 3.6 doon sa ating 30 na given na elevation ng turbine. Kasi ba diba, syempre, yung head loss natin is kumbaga siya yung losses natin doon sa uh, dadaanan ng tubig. So therefore, we have 30 meters minus the head loss which is 3.6 meters. So this will be 26.4 meters. And as we have computed this elevation, so the next thing to do is let's solve for the velocity. For the velocity, derived formula na to, square root of 2 gh. So, 2 times 9.81, which is our gravitational acceleration, multiplied by our height that is computed a while ago. So, therefore, magiging kalalabasan yan. So, square root of 2 times 9.81 times 26.4. This will become 22.4. 759 unit is meters per second. So, and then, sabi, ang hiningi sa atin sa problem is determine the power output in kilowatts. So, before that, syempre, meron tayong formula ng Morse equation. Kung maalala nyo, yan ay H sub L is equals to 2 FL V squared over GD. So, why do we have to use the formula of Morse equation for head loss? Because, unknown natin dun yung diameter. Nagagamitin natin mamaya para sa pagkuha ng ating volume flow rate. Nagagamitin mo para sa pinakauling formula for the water power. Okay? So, meron na tayong head loss kanina, yung 3.6. So, let's substitute it. So, 2 times F. Yung F natin is 0.00093. So, times the length. Yung length na binigay guys is yung length ng pen stack na 100 meters. So, kung uh, kayo wala pang idea sa pen stack. So, what do we mean by pen stack? So, pen stacks are like large pipes laid with some slope. So, may slope siya, no? Na daanan ng ating tubig. So, ang tendency nito. So, syempre... Uh, intake structure natin to Itong part na to Tapos Yung part na pababa Is nandun nakaabang yung ating turbine Okay So yan yung tinatawag natin na penstock Para lang may idea kayo Okay So length ng penstock Pinangkit sa problem Yan yung 100 meters So all in all guys Kailangan complement yung mga units natin For us to be able to get the Proper unit of the diameter Which is yung naka meters. So, FL V squared. Yung V natin is 22.759 squared natin yan. 
So, divided by G, which is 9.81 times the diameter. Which is, ito yung kailangan natin na value para magamit natin for the computation of volume flow rate. So, as we compute for this, so 3.6 is equals to 2 times 0 0.00093 times 100 times 22.759 raised to 2 all over 9.81 times alpha x or yung ating d. Lalabas natin dyan na diameter is yung 2.728 meters. So yung diameter na yan is magagamit natin para makompute yung ating volume flow rate or yung ating q. Sa ibang book, ginagamit yan na variable is yung V na may tuldok sa taas. So, for our volume flow rate, it is equal to the formula of area times the velocity. Yung area natin dyan is yung cross-sectional area ng ating pipeline. So, pi over 4 multiplied by the diameter na naka-squared. Yung diameter na yon is itong di na nakuha natin. So, 2.728 raised to 2. So, multiplied sa ating velocity na 22.759 and by that we are going to uh, obtain the value of our volume flow rate na naka cubic meters per second so pi over 4 multiplied by 2.728 raised to 2 times 22.759 and by that we are uh, obtaining the value of 133.03 cubic meters per second and for the last since ang hiningin na sa atin ay yung ating power output, we all know that the formula for the water power or the uh, power output, so pwede yung W sub P or P sub O. So the formula is gamma times the volume flow rate times the given height. So substitute, gamma ng water is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meters. Multiplied by Q, yung nakuha natin na 133.03 cubic meters per second. So, multiplied by yung height natin, which is binawas na doon yung head loss, yun yung 26.4 meters. So, cancel out yung mga units na magkakaparehas. Ang lalabas natin dyan is kilonewton meters per second or kilowatts. So, for our water power or power output, so 9.81 times 133.03 times 26.4 that will become 34,452.64 kilowatts so this will be your final answer for this problem makikita nyo siya guys sa letter D 34,452 kilowatts so kung kayo may mga katanungan regarding this uh, video tutorial maaari mag comment lang kayo below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel para kayo updated sa aking mga video tutorials na upload under uh, Fluid Machinery. This is Engineer Jam Digia. Maraming salamat sa panonood.